103.2 Preston FM. Keeping it local. Well, I've got another guest with me today. It's uh, one of my favourite guests that I've had on before. Oh, it's, don't crawl around. Oh, then. yes, it's Drew Dewing Drake. Takes a bit of saying that, doesn't it? it? Does Drew Dewing Drake, r- 3D, r- it's, it's my rap name. Yeah. Is it? Yes. <laughs> And uh, Drew's the uh, Older and Out uh, coordinator, which is... The, tell us a little bit about the Older and Out. Well, I, I work for Age Concern Central Lancashire, mm. and I run a specialist project for Central uh, Age Concern Central Lancashire that supports the health and welfare of the older lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community, which, when you've got a name like Drew Dewing Do Drake, we, and then we? you're having to say lesbian, gay, bisexual <laughs> and transgender, so let's say LGBT and tea yeah which a lot of people think is lettuce gherkin bacon and tomato which is a type of sandwich but i'm here to reassure you that it's not not right joking aside well what happens in the uh, older and out project Tell well me. um within the service i run a befriending service which mm. is a one-to-one service where volunteers i've got volunteers a team of fantastic hello guys if you're out there listening i know helen listens i've got a fantastic team of volunteers out there with whom i wouldn't be able to run the project no. and they go out and visit isolated older lgbt people in many ways they represent the family that they may not have because i yeah. don't know whether people know or not but uh, as a community the older members of the lgbt community we weren't allowed to have children back yeah. in the day it was against the law as were many things so there's a there's a, a lack of family uh, there are a lack of partners because we weren't allowed to get married or have relationships like our heterosexual peers were so all of these things when you denied these things as a community things are different these days and it does impact on you when it you're impacts in older on, age, it impacts on you in your older age yeah whether it's in your own internalized homo or transphobia working against you or the way that society made you feel when when we were younger because yeah. i don't know whether you know or not christine and i know you're probably going to find this difficult to get your head around but i'm 53 no i am darling so i i'm you know i'm uh, uh, what we what we might consider an older person we we say 55 plus at age concern central lancashire yeah. and i'm 53 but i but i said, would take people on my project from 50 but really drew you look so hot you know stop crawling around me christine <laughs> it's not going to work darling you know but you do darling thank you thank it's, you for those kind words well you for, look very for, nice for all the people well. who are trying to imagine what drew looks like uh <laughs> She's told me this morning that I look like I got a cat stuck to my face, but I actually have got quite a large beard at the moment, which uh, my husband likes it, so let's not go there. Stick to the plot. Let's get right. back to the project. Okay. Forget the cats. Absolutely. So I run a one-to-one befriending service for older, isolated LGBT people. I've got a team of volunteers that go out and do that. I run social groups um, for um, older LGBT people, but I also allow younger people to come along, 30-plus. Right. Right. Not youngsters, youngsters, no. but uh, 30 plus. It's kind of around the age that people would have been if if my older people had had children or had grandchildren. Yeah, yeah. So it's nice for them just to have that link and bond with people mm. that can bring a different experience for yeah. them. Um, the, I have a social group that runs the first Thursday and third Thursday of every month at Disability Equality Northwest, which is just at the bottom of Church Street. Yeah. And then I have a social group over in Chorley at um, sh- uh, Home Start, and that's um, just at the back of Fleet Street Car Park in, um, in Chorley. And that's the second Wednesday and fourth Wednesday of every month. I run a, an older people's luncheon club a lo- with a friend of mine, Andy Thompson, the fantastic Andy Thompson. Hello, Andy, if you're listening. I think he's on holiday this week. But the luncheon club uh, is a wandering sort of like pop-up club um, where older LGBT people meet. And mm. they, they, I mean, they, 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 I call it a pop-up luncheon club. They call it Bitch and Biscuits, <laughs> which I don't think is very appropriate, but it makes me yes. laugh. So how can people find out where this pop-up um you can you can you can go on to the age concern website which is www.55plus.org.uk and if you click on lgbt which is in Mm. the drop down section of services and all the information that you need to know will be is there there. a picture of you on there um well i am a bit vain so yes i think there probably probably will be but but um, not with the 
very large beard that not got. with a large beard no it could have possibly yeah. been a bit shorter yeah. one of the other things that I, I just want to say is that starting on tuesday and i've got to consult my literature here because i you know i'm a, ve- a bear of very little brain these days and my mind and things elude me so starting on the 19th of august at 11.30 at the Costa Coffee Shop right. at the side of Boots here in Preston. Right. We're having um, a coffee club for LGBT people. Now, that's all LGBT people, but I, my people from my older people's group will be going along, hopefully. Right. And we're trying to encourage people to come along to that, to meet friends, make friends, meet old, old friends, see people that we might not like and make friends with them again. Yeah. But um, I'd really like people to start coming along. And that's going to be once every fortnight. But what we're going to do is it's similar to how we run the luncheon club, that people will come along to that event. And at that event, then we'll decide where we're going to meet next week. Oh, so we'll, so be, right. we'll be traveling around some of the finest coffee shops that we've got in Preston. Mm. And, I, and I'm actually supporting this with Lancashire LGBT. Right. So that's, that's Lewis and Katie and John and Travis. Hello, guys, if you're listening, um, you know, to, to bring something to the community that we hope everybody will enjoy yeah. so so do come along 19th yeah. of august uh, half past 11 cost coffee next to boots in preston town center that's fabulous that and um, you know you were saying before about you do some training don't you for, yeah it's, uh, it's the most in, well it's one of the one of the important parts of of the project um i go out to organizations that um offer care to uh, any any older people that, mm. or, or any to people that may be coming into contact with yeah. older LGBT people. Yeah. So that's doctors, nurses, social workers, care workers, mm. uh, and it, it's been incredibly successful for for us. Really, uh, has that? Uh, in, in fact, last year the project um, actually got a, a national diversity award. Yeah. which was quite fantastic for us. And this year, we've been nominated for a European wow. Diversity Award. That's really so, special. So, yeah, yeah, you know, like I said before, I have some fantastic people that work with me, I have some fantastic volunteers. You know, I, 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 I don't do it all, but, yeah, mm. you know, so, so I'm hoping that this is something that comes... I mean, even if we don't win, it's still quite an honour for it this is. to, you know, and to get that, to have our reputation travel further than just the UK. Yeah, that's really... Really amazing. You know, I've recently been down in uh, Nottingham where we've been, I've been helping and supporting um, lecturers there and doctors there looking into end of life care for older LGBT right. people. And uh, I met uh, a very interesting South guy, doctor from South Africa that um, thought that the model that we created at Age Concern Central Lancashire with older and out was, was really fantastic and wanted to take the model to South Africa and start to develop it there so when something like that starts to happen that that's unbelievable it's thrilling yeah. you know yeah. especially in south africa yeah 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 especially yeah i mean uh, well there, there are a lot you know there are lots of countries out there where lgbt people struggle you They're know still persecuted, and st- yeah. still persecuted yeah whether or not that's you know to do with uh, faith background or a cultural issue yeah. you know uh, and it can be pretty tough you know i mean goodness me things have really changed in our country you know but there's still certain amounts of stigma attached you know the, the, there's all kinds of things that can come into play one, one of the things that i can still find quite shocking is the uh, you know I, I can go into the care sector I was, yesterday and no disrespect to these people i was with training care workers yesterday afternoon and uh, when it came to me talking about HIV and the fact that they could be getting people going into their care that are HIV and when I asked them what they knew about HIV the combat was nothing yeah and that's a real worry and that's where our project can really really come into play to support people to become more yeah. informed so that as an you know as because we we will have a higher level now of older people going into care with hiv or dementia you know we talk about dementia in older people and um you know how you would perhaps create a memory book for somebody who was trans and had, and had become their real self instead of their former self and mm-hmm. how you would perhaps approach that or how if you were administering medication to people that were HIV that had started to develop dementia and were refusing the medication. You know, the, the, it's all very, very subtle and and hopefully as time is going on with the project, we're helping mm-hmm. to, make, to help organisations to make those differences in order to make it a better 
place to, to live, really. Drew, thank you so much for coming on today. You're very welcome, Christine. I know. Made by people like you. Your community. Your radio. Your, Your Preston FM. FM.